Good afternoon everyone. I hope everyone's well and that you're enjoying the weekend so far. Now my bit's a bit longer this week as I've got a few uh, thank yous to make and I've got a couple of new ideas to help with families. So I'm going to add my bit to the end and I'm going to let the kids and the staff go first. Mix it up a wee bit. I'd like you to feel free to scroll to the, the bits you want, like Mrs Morrison's transition information or Ellie's sports news, or do what a few folk do and just put the phone on the worktop and listen to the news when you're making the tea or whatever you're doing. You don't have to watch us. Listening is just fine as well. And remember, essential stuff is still in the letters, still in text or still in emails. This is just our highlights. So... Over to the kids and over to the staff and I'll see you at the end. Hi everyone, I hope you all had a lovely holiday. This week our senior team worked with our junior pupil leaders to re research, create and present an assembly on International Language Day. They discussed the most popular and least popular languages around the world, including French, Spanish, Mandarin and Ongota, the least spoken language around the world, with only 12 fluent speakers. Next week, our Dermot Assembly will be about raising awareness of Purple Friday, an annual fundraising day that aims to take action against homophobia and transphobia. And we look forward to telling you more about this event next week. The Exchange is a new counselling service available in school that aims to boost psychological wellbeing and develop resilience. The Exchange have worked in Wales and Scotland for 18 years and they develop their counselling plans to suit the needs of the individual young person. What's really great is that if you want to contact them, you can access them in three ways. First, you can speak to your guidance teacher and they can fill in the referral form with you, or you can scan the QR code just outside of guidance and it'll take you to the form that you can fill in yourself. And you can also find this link on their website. And third, if you want to, if you want to speak to them in person, they are doing drop in sessions on Tuesdays and Wednesdays in room one point three two and from one to one thirty if you want to see them in person. And if you want to know any more information or advice, go to their website because it's really good. Hi everyone, it's Shach in the Gaelic, World Gaelic Week next week and Open High School will be taking part. We've got a fun afternoon planned for our Gaelic medium pupils, S1 to 3. On Tuesday they'll be taking part in some fun activities to help develop their Gaelic and help them use their Gaelic around the school environment. And then on Thursday a group of pupils will be travelling to Glasgow Gaelic School to take part in a shinty tournament. So lots of fun activities and there'll be other things on for Gaelic learners throughout the week as well. So thank you to our Gaelic department for organising all of these and we're sure it will be excellent fun for all that take part. On Wednesday night we hosted our first gateway meeting at Park Primary School with Park Primary P7 and P7 parents. Um, thank you very much to Mr Craig, Mr Champion and the pupils that went along to Park Primary to meet our next year's first years and um, thank you to everybody that came along and everyone who asked questions and we hope it was a really informative evening for everyone. From the middle of March we will be visiting other primary schools in the area. Um, information will come to you via your primary school and our deputy head teachers, guidance teachers and pupils are really looking forward to meeting you all or seeing you again in the case of some of the pupils and talking to you about life at Open High School and taking your questions. In the meantime, if there's anything you would like to know about Transition to Open High School, please do drop us an email. You can go onto our website and find our contact details there. We'd be more than happy to, to hear from you and answer any questions that you have. And please feel free to have a look at the school website um, and get any information about the school and ask any questions. Furthermore, we have the school app for parents, so it would be great if you're a prospective parent at Open High School, you can download the school app for parents um, and just find out a wee bit about what's uh, what's going on at the school day to day. Okay, thank you very much everyone. Hi everyone and I hope you had a good week. This week we had Jen Kemp from Live and Learn. She was in to do some uh, follow-up study session skills with her fourth year pupils. The fourth year pupils uh, were taken through some growth mindset revision workshops and the response so far has been really really positive and I hope that you can support your young people to prepare for the forthcoming SQA exams. 
We also have another online study skills session which is coming up on the 6th of March. I sent a notification out on the school app and all you need to do is use the QR code and you can join that session which has been run in conjunction with Dunoon Grammar and Campbelltown Grammar School. Um, the session is running from 6 to 7 on the 6th of March and there are only 100 places so please if you think that you or your young person want to take part in that then please sign up as soon as possible. Next week also, um, our senior leaders will be um, back on the um, the assembly trail. They will be um, hosting the, um, I think it's Dermid Assembly, and the subject this week is Purple Friday. That's all from me. I hope you have an excellent week. Hi, everyone. I hope you're well. hope you've had a good week, and I hope you had a great um, February break as well. I want to chat to you today about choir. Now, I love my job as a deputy. But I really, really, really miss taking choirs as a music teacher. So I'm going to take the school choir. Um, so we're kind of rebranding, reshaping, uh, changing the days and so on. So we're going to do a Wednesday after school, four until five. And then if you can't make that, maybe there's things on. Um, I'm going to do like a catch up one on a Thursday lunchtime at one o'clock. And I'll go over any parts with anybody or anything like that. Now, everyone is welcome, staff and pupils. You don't need to be able to sing. All you need to do is want to get involved with something new and, and take part. You might bring friends with you. You might make friends while you're there. It's a really, really exciting opportunity. We should have an amazing choir here at Auburn High School. We've got some amazing musical activities already on the go. Let's really push forward to have an amazing choir too. Um, Everyone's super busy at this time of year. So like, why are you doing it now? You're doing it now because everyone's busy. And being part of a choir and singing and breathing, even breathing for an hour properly is amazing. It will decompress the week. It will it'll make a nice evening for everyone afterwards. I guarantee that everyone will leave with a smile. We're here to have fun. We're here to make some great music uh, and hopefully some great friends as we go along the way. Uh, everyone's welcome. Please encourage your young person to come along on Wednesday or if they can't make Wednesday, come along at the Thursday lunchtime and eventually we'll join it all up together at some point. Um, hope you have a great week uh, and I'll hopefully let you know maybe we'll have a wee clip re-recording for next week so you can hear what we sound like have a great week and I'll see you all soon I'm Ellie McKenna so I'm sport ambassadors here at Auburn High School and this is your weekly sport news next week we've got badminton competition open up to all year groups in the school Go down to the PE department and grab yourself an entry form. It is £5 per entry. We have got new boards down in the PE department as well. One of them showing the weekly clubs and one of them showing fixtures and competitions that are coming up soon. The money for the Six Nations rugby tickets need to be handed in next week. First and second year boys and girls from the school are going to the Scottish Power Energy Championships on the 2nd of March. Our school rugby teams are going to be representing our school in this national event. On the 8th of March, we have a girls team going down to Tory Glen for a football competition. Finally, there's rolls up for Shinty Ambassadors, so if you're interested, please look at the school Instagram page for more information. This week, we've had both pupils and staff given an array of news, and it was a bit longer than usual. But given the average screen time for adults, I believe, is five hours a day, I'm sure folk can watch or, or even just listen to an average of 10 minutes or so of school news. And so if you made it this far, Thanks very much. I hope you found it informative. I hope you found it great to hear that we're expanding our horizons and learning about what's going on around the world. Learning about International Language Day and about LGBTQ news like uh, Purple Friday, uh, which is going on next week. Listen to our podcasts as well, and they regularly do issues that are uh, from news beyond the boundaries of Auburn. I'm sure you were also pleased to learn that we're working with other professionals like The Exchange, our new counselling service. And I'd like to encourage you, wherever possible and wherever appropriate, eh, for you and your child to sign up and they can drop in past guidance. And of course, if you need more information yourself, as always, just email your guidance teacher or your family liaison officer and they'll give you more info. 
And talking of partners, I'd like to thank Jen for Live and Learn for doing another raft of sessions with our seniors. Uh, the experience that they got this week was superb. It's a, a second session, a follow-on session from the work we did in November because I don't think there's any point in just doing something once. We need to build on skills and we need to build on experiences. And I'd also like to thank all the parents who attended the November session and the session this week. Uh, it was it was great. There were parents there from Oban and there's parents there for Tyree and the more we help you, the more you can help your kids. And similarly, uh, I'd like to thank Paul Gallanac for Danoon Grammar for giving up his time and running an additional session uh, for all our kids and parents, preparing for the demands of the coming months. Paul's session, as Aileen said to you, was on the 6th, was on? No, it's going to be on the 6th of March and uh, I'd like you to sign up. Remember, there's only 100 places, so book your slot now. Uh, now, these were just a few of the highlights that I wanted to reiterate, but here's my final thoughts my final ideas for you. We've sought for many years to make access in our school learning and our school experience as accessible as possible. Our uniform, that can be bought cheaply. No branding allowed means that it's cheap to buy. And we also give away any items that they need, like trousers or shoes or shirts, etc., in case anybody can't afford them. We we'll look after them. And also, plain black footwear. Stop buying trendy, expensive trainers and send them to school. It just puts pressure on other kids and then that puts pressure on parents as well. But to further help the financial pressures that parents face, as well as the cheap, equitable uniform, I'd like to also bring into play some other ideas. Remember, no one needs to bring any subject-specific items, although clearly bringing a pen, a pencil, or rubber is pretty basic, but no even essential if you forget. We've also negotiated free travel on almost all the buses and the trains to ensure that the kids can attend clubs after school. And you're about to see that we're going to do a whole load of things on Saturdays and Sundays and, uh, and Easter for those who are getting ready for their exams as well. And that will all be free. Free tuition, free travel, free food, etc. Uh, we also give out Chromebooks for those who can't afford the device at home if a family is really struggling. And uh, we do still have families we provide food for. Not as many as when we did the food hampers during the pandemic, but we still do offer some. And we also still run many school trips. And if they're domestic trips, these are largely free. We no longer charge for fuel for the minibuses, etc. We're handling all these costs. There are some things that we need to charge for, like the rugby tickets to, to go to watch Scotland and England, for example. But mostly, it's free. Same with foreign trips. A lot of schools have stopped these as some families can't afford them, but we believe that these are part of the wider life experiences and so we should still be running them. It's about helping families to access them. And so our commitment is to continue to provide some support for everyone who has a passion for a particular trip they wish to attend. And we'll endeavour to give longer lead-in times for all our for foreign trips to make sure that many who just want the chance to go in these experiences have time to save up for them. And uh, hopefully that will help as well. And finally, we've been offering a breakfast club to many who require some nutrition and some company before they start the school day. But now I've extended this provision just this week actually on Tuesday by undertaking to ensure that no child starts the day hungry. And so, as soon as everyone walks through our front doors at 5 to 9, please stop sending them too early. When the doors open, our canteen staff will be waiting for them with a table laden full of free fruit. No questions asked. If someone's hungry, they should take the fruit for their breakfast. And if they won't, squirrel another bit of fruit away in their bags and they can have that at break. No child should go hungry in our schools. A reminder of a promise that I made many years ago, and, uh, and that is, if you face any difficulty at all with school or at home, supporting your child learn or helping them thrive in any way at all, in or out of school, then please just contact us and we'll help you in whatever way we can. Right, that's enough for me. I hope you continue to have a good weekend and a good week ahead and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much.